All right, my name is Michael. I live on this Scepter 36 foot sailboat. And I just wanted to talk a little bit, to, in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about, about hydro veins. You know, I've been thinking about this for a long time and I wanna get your guys' opinion on this. Like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you all know what a hydro vein. A hydro vein is, it's kind of like uh, a self-steering wind vane that you put on the back of your boat and it kind of acts like a rudder and it steers you in the right direction with the right wind conditions. And you know, we've all seen videos where people lose the use of the rudder and it's, it's a big deal, you know? However, a hydro vane is something that's very expensive. It's something that's hard to get a hold of. And you know, I, I've been battling in my mind for, for years now thinking about, geez, maybe I do need one. I mean, in, in, in this case, on this boat, uh, I did pay a small fortune to have the rudder rebuilt because it's it's one of the most important things to have. You know, I have a a, a skeg hung, hung rudder on this boat, but I, I just I can't. I just have this thing in the back of my mind saying, "Dude, you should really have a hydro vane." Like, and I've looked into it. The, the autopilot that I have is just, is your classic uh, autopilot that's just you know it's 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 run by a 12 volt DC motor and it keeps you on course. I find though, when I get heavy weather helm, the, it just skips, you know, and it doesn't keep you in the right direction. You have to be hand steering. Now, as a single hander, I think it's crucial. You know, it's part of me saying, you really need this, this device. What do you guys think? I mean, first of all, how many of you out there have a hydrovane? Second of all, how much did you pay for it? And third of all, do you consider an absolutely crucial piece of gear? Because we've all seen the videos like uh, SV Tritea, the, the one guy he sailed across to Hawaii and uh, he was like a thousand nautical miles away from Hawaii and his rudder broke. He hit something, uh, something red in the water, hit it and his rudder was damaged. And he had a hydro vein. He went out and bought one. And if he didn't have a hydro vein, he would have been screwed. Like he, he could have even died, you know? Would have put him in a situation where he would be stuck out at sea for so long. Just trying to think, like, I, I have options here. I could I could get a used hydro vane, which is probably going to cost about five or six grand Canadian. I could buy a new one, which is going to cost 10,000 Canadian. Or I can upgrade my uh, autopilot and have a standby, like a uh, version of this, to a newer one so it works better. Or I can go and spend 15 or $20,000 on getting uh, like a, a hydraulic system. So I'm not sure, like I'm just trying to think about this. Like I was hoping, I'm reaching out to my audience here and trying to, trying to ask the question, people that do have hydro veins out there, do they consider them absolutely necessary piece of kit for the long distance single hander? I mean, Basically, I have limited funds. I, I, you know, I don't have a lot of money to spend on this boat. I've spent a fortune just to get to where I am. And uh, I'm trying to, try, before I leave for the Caribbean, I'm trying to think, what, what are the things that I can get that are gonna give me the, the best advantage? You know, what are the crucial necessities that you need to, to make a single-handed passage safe, quick, and effective? You know, so I'm trying to think about it, but I just can't find any information online about this. Like, I see a lot of boats that have hydro veins, and uh, are they absolutely crucial? I mean, there's got to be an answer out there. So make a comment below. Uh, give me your thoughts on this. Like, like, do you think I should, you know, drop everything and, and get a hydro vein, or should I just go? There's always that question. A lot of the people in the comments are like, "Don't worry, Michael. A lot of people make the mistake of." worrying about having too much things you just got to leave the dock and go and just deal with it as you go right there's a fine line there you know should i have the equipment or shouldn't i what basic equipment do we need and is a hydro rain an absolute necessity please comment below like the video i hope you found that interesting uh, i'm going to try and release more of these videos where i'm where i'm 
letting you guys in on where I'm at in terms of a person who has purchased a sailboat and is considering, you know, sailing a long distance. All right, we'll see you in the next video.